Welcome back. It's 2 o'clock on Thursday, and you're right where you need to be. We're at Gun Stuff TV, broadcasting live from Newport, Kentucky. Hey, what do you know, Scott? I think we're here. We survived another start. We got everything working, the technology. Now, look, folks, if you see something that's off, uh, you know, like we're not hearing something, go ahead and make that in the comments. We appreciate all of you being here. And we want to thank our sponsors for today's show, Freedom Processing. And uh, you'll see on there, oh, that says Freedom Process, should say freedomprocessing.us, my typo. And uh, Freedom Processing is the, uh, the glue that holds our business together. If you want to pay for something on our website, you have to use a merchant. And, and they're the ones th that do it for us. And we thank them for sponsoring our show. And uh, we'll have one of our engineers uh, fix that typo by the end of the show. And then also, Faxon. Uh, Faxon has been a great uh, sponsor. You've seen some of their products. In fact, you've seen Scott go, going about it. And let me see if we can uh, show you a little bit of this. Scott in action. And uh, this is the FX19. And uh, Scott really put it through its paces l last year when it was introduced. You can go to our website and uh, see all about it. And then, Scott... We have this contest. Tell our viewers what they can win. Yeah, this is a, a, an outstanding package here. It's really a complete, a complete package from start to finish. But you get the, the Fax and Hellfire uh, chambered 9mm, the great pistol. I've been shooting this thing for a while, and it is extremely accurate. And one of the great things about Faxon are the barrels and the accuracy. But then they pair it with the reliability of all their own uh, handmade precision, uh, or their own uh, precision parts made in-house. Then it's going to be paired up with a Swamp Fox Red Dot. Uh, and it has, it's going to come with the iron sides. Uh, shield that goes around it and what that does is that allows that to be extremely durable it takes a lot of the abuse off of the aluminum housing that's that the swamp foxes are made out of so this thing will really be a truly duty grade uh, weapon system but then you get the squared away customs custom made holsters uh, for the Faxon so it's going to fit perfectly it's a in the waistband type carry and that's the that's the way I carry mine you get a thousand rounds of allegiance ammunition so you're going to be able to get out there and get some practice in and be able to get very familiar with that with that firearm and then you got the Firebird Bio 50 targets which are always fun because you can just peel and stick those things on uh, you they're they're biodegradable and you don't have to do any mixing or anything so you peel it stick it stick it on your target and then make that you know like with a the last shot of your the shooting phase or something and just put a lot of fun into it and and you get that uh, detonation at the end of it there with a little and you, bit of spark. And they can be shipped right, right yeah. to your house. It's non-hazardous. Yep. And I can't tell you how many times we've gone out to the range uh, and we wanted a big explosion and, and those things that mix up, they just don't go quite right. This is a surefire thing. Even I can do it. You could stick it on. I could stick it right on the front yeah. of this computer, for example. <laughs> and if I hit it, it would uh, it would detonate. And that would be a very expensive detonation to, to blow up. I, your I tell you what, the way MacBook. I feel about this computer, yeah. sometimes I think <laughs> I need to do that. Now, folks, if you want to get this great package, all you need to do is go to fax, Gunstuff TV slash Faxon. And uh, this contest, Scott, is uh, it's winding down. Mm -hmm. And so, folks, uh, you better jump on board. Now, a little bit later on in the show, you're going to uh, see our, our good friend from Z Zombie uh, tell us a little bit about this run. Just just give you a preview. If you stay tuned, you'll see Tiger this guy Schultz. talking I'm here. Yeah. For yeah. He's life, introducing zombie. that. Scott? This is one of our good friends, uh, Tiger Schultz. He's going to be hosting the Zombie uh, 2020 Zombie Running Gun, and that's going to be in Missouri. We're going to go. We're going to uh, run that race. We're going to get a lot of footage of that for you guys. Uh, but that's going to be... Uh, the November 7th and, and 8th, but he's going to give a lot of more detail on that here in just the end and, of the show. And, and so hang, hang in there until the end of the show. You get to, to hear, hear the good stuff. And uh, let's see here. Oh, there is something else I wanted to show you. If you go to our website, and if you've been subscribing to our emails, you may know that we're interested in this election. And you can buy this Trump 2020 knife while supplies last right on our website. And uh, it, they've been going like crazy, Scott. Mm -hmm. and, and folks uh, are really like that. Now, and when you get to the website, guys, don't forget that you should just go there and uh, uh, register and join our, our email blast. Now, remember, the election's coming around, and just a little bit of a notice here. This is from the uh, website. They want to end the sale of online firearms. And here's another thing. Regulate 
assault weapons. So, you know, basically, uh, Gun Stuff TV is, has a big target on our backs. Yeah, there's a bit, yeah, we have a big stake in this, but I mean, it's not just a, our stake in it, it's everyone's stake, because if you can't buy things online, you don't have places to go to anymore. There are very few brick and mortar stores that sell all the supplies we need, need as shooters. So just like everything else, e-commerce is a huge part of, part of the market, so. Well, I tell you what, today we'll get on with our show. If you subscribed to our email last, you found out that our, we have a guest today, and Alan Bogdan from Ramora Holsters, and let's see if we still got him here online. And Alan, uh, let me see if we got you. Hey there, there you are, Alan. How are you doing? You're doing great. I want to thank you very much on behalf of the Ramora staff somehow and myself. I lost your audio. I Somehow we lost his audio. Can you hear it? No, well, I don't have it. Yeah, you, uh, uh, you well, are, you're frozen heard your audio well. a little bit before. Let's see here what's going on. Yeah, I, I have your audio, but I don't have your video. You're oh, frozen. How did that happen? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Okay, how does this happen? No, you can go ahead and reconnect, but uh, I can go ahead and talk about the holsters for a second, if you don't mind, Alan. Uh, I've, been, I've been checking these out while we get, uh, while we get your audio set back up. Uh, but what we have is, is these are slip fit holsters, uh, and, and I'm not exactly sure of the terminologies that, that Alan would like to use on these, but uh, these are designed to hold uh, a wide array of, of firearms. They are made for different, different firearms, different sizes. Uh, but what it is, is these are going to go in, in like an in the waistband or something like this, and it has this really, really sticky material on here. These things are really great. Uh, this will not come out. When you go to make your draw, this is going to draw out very smoothly uh, because of the liner on the inside is is just got just enough grip to hold the gun, but it doesn't over, over grip it like some of your Kydex holsters where you have the thumb tightening screws and things like that, so you'll be able to get a good draw. Uh, these are the kind of holsters that do collapse once you draw the firearm. The, these do collapse, so once you go back to reholster, of course, you'll need to do a two-handed reholster. But a lot, of the, a lot of the ones we see on the market that are, that are these type of holsters, they don't usually come with uh, the clips on here, things like that, but the material on here is what I think is what is really, really great Let's about this. Let's see if this. we got Alan yeah. back here. Hey, Alan, uh, you've come back. Do we still yes, I'm here, I don't think. <laughs> Can you, you hear me? Tech guy there. <laughs> your tech guy. <laughs> can you hear me? Uh, go, go ahead, Alan. Oh, everybody else is saying they can hear him fine. They can hear you can fine. Hear well, that's good. You, they can hear you, <laughs> but well, we can't. Good. Okay, well then we'll just let him talk, and you just give us a thumbs up after you've after you said what you wanted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What the heck is going yeah. on here? Uh, well, let's see here. Let me tell you something else here. Go ahead, Alan. Again. Yeah. Let's say we appreciate being on your program, uh, and. Uh, just uh, explain to you what our holsters are. I, I developed the holster uh, back uh, 2009. We launched the holster. Uh, when I first started concealed carry, I couldn't really find a holster that I liked or suited me. And at this time, I was in the marine canvas business, so I had access to all kinds of different commercial sewing machines. Uh, so I started experimenting, making different holster designs and and uh, different fabrics and uh, made some prototypes for some friends that were concealed carry uh, individuals. And uh, they really liked the product, they liked the holster. And uh, at that point, I found a company uh, to formulate my own non-slip material. And after a year or so, I found the company, had the material manufactured, and uh, that's when Remora was born in 2009. Well, it's a, a fantastic holster. This, tell them about this non-slip material. Now, th this is quite unique. Uh, and, and you guys are like the first guys to come up with this idea. Isn't that right? We were the first ones that came up. And, and now they're often, often simulated but never duplicated uh, due to the material that we have and that our holsters are manufactured out of. Uh, it's a really aggressive non-slip material. Uh, if anyone's allergic to latex, you don't have to worry about it. There's absolutely no latex in the rubber. Um, and they just do what they're uh, supposed to do. Uh, I and mean, why we call them the Remora holster, it, it, uh, its name was inspired by the Remora fish. And that's the fish that has the ability to attach to another fish, forming a symbiotic relationship. Uh, like mostly you'll see, like they stick to sharks and everything. And uh, that's the same thing that our holster does, is providing a confident and comfortable way to 
concealed carry, carry without really needing a clip. But as you see now that we do have holsters that do have clips. So, but, well, I um, want to make sure I understand this. Uh, so uh, you're saying that your holsters are the number one brand among what? Mako sharks, tiger sharks, all sharks? <laughs> exactly. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> well, I can I get it now because it, it's it, it, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. grippy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah and, and that's sure. Like I say, it doesn't have to be you know, against your skin either. Uh, you know, it can be stuck. You know, IWB uh, between your undergarment and and your waistband of your your pants. You know. And also, they're also for the, depending upon the size of the weapon that, that you're carrying, they make a great in-the-pocket holster as well. And they are ambidextrous if you don't add a clip to them. And so you can see it. Yep. You can see Alan Moving that uh, uh, we we got some lined up right here. And uh, right. So that holster the the, uh, the the holster with the sig, uh, I believe, three sixty-five, and uh, that is our micro holster. That's our smallest holster uh really uh nice carry it it's not bulky it's it uh with this with a swivel clip um you can adjust cant um just a minimal size holster that uh, really just gets the job done and there's a little close-up you can see now it's a little hard to tell exactly what that is but that's that grippy surface you were talking about that's correct yeah it has all like those little nodes on it that uh, grip uh, and I believe that you have one of our holsters there as well. That's our Gen 2. Uh, it's a little bit different, a little different material. There you go. That is our Gen 2. Uh, that almost, it's a softer material. And it's, when you feel it, it's almost like a velvety feel to it. And in the pattern is almost the same, almost like a basketball. And uh, that is a really comfortable carry as well. Uh, being softer uh, in the waistband or in the pocket. Um, very, very, very comfortable. So is that endorsed by the NBA? <laughs> you, know, you, know, I, I, <laughs> you know, it seems to me that that's exactly... I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if they're court carrying or not now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. I'll tell you what, they should be. That's yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. 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 They're, they're not that popular uh, yeah. among people. Hey, facts, yeah. folks, I just wanted to let you know, if you're seeing some people behind us here, that's because uh, they're actually working uh, on the balcony behind us. And so you, you'll know that this is a real live uh, kind of show here. So, in fact, if you haven't figured that out, yeah. <laughs> you're not, you haven't been watching long because we don't get anything right. At least yeah. I don't. <laughs> So, so, yeah, we've got more holsters here, too, and uh, uh, what, what else do we yeah, have? Yeah, so we have the larger, the larger models and uh, all, the way, all the yeah. way down to the, like you said, the micro. Uh, so these are going to be for your large, full size, and I'm going to go ahead and bring this piece here in because just any time I get to pick up a, uh, a Walter Q, uh, Q5 Q match, you know, I just I have to. <laughs> but this thing, you know, it goes it, just to fit the largest of the of, of the guns here. Right. So this is a really, we, uh, this is, yeah. No, I mean, yeah we, you were, you, you, you we do have holsters that accept the RMR, too. I don't believe that one yeah. has the RMR. Yeah, this but, one isn't, uh, so I didn't, I didn't, I don't, sh I didn't shove it all the way right, in there, exactly. but it's, it is one of those. But this is still more than capable of, of holding this and keeping this next to your body and, and secured. Yeah. And, and and I think that's a lot more fun when it comes time to uh, uh, <laughs> go to work. Go to work. Yeah, you, you've got something that's a little bit stouter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I like the Walder uh, PPK. We've got that in there. And that that's always it. a classic. Always a classic. Now that one's right. got a special lining on the inside. Yes. Tell our viewers. I don't know if they can see that, but uh, maybe we hold it up there towards the yeah, camera. Yeah. You get to the uh, inside yeah, there. Yeah. It's very velvety. Uh, what, what do we got going there, Alan? That, that is our uh, lining upgrade. It's our plush lining, and it is it's, it's a very, very tough and durable material. Uh, it's, it's got a real soft feel to it, almost like a velvety. Uh, it's really uh, gun-friendly, like safe you know, for your, your guns. It, uh, just really user-friendly with it. And even our standard lining, which is a denier, uh, is excellent as well. Uh, no, there's never any problems or anything of wearing any of the, the guns finish off or anything, you know. You know, I was worried when you told me that it was sort of a velvety lighting. I heard about that until I actually saw it. 
you know, it has the feel of that, but it's mm -hmm. extremely durable. This I can see this thing wearing like like iron, even yep. though it's very soft and and, and uh, very good for your firearm, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's really tough, you know. And uh, yeah, and, those, that's not, another thing about our holes, they just last forever too. Uh, it's not something you're gonna have to replace in six months or a year. Uh, we've had customers come back with some of my first start of the company back in 2009. They were still using the same holsters ten years later, you know. And look, for a composite, our, uh, really. And there's our our our, our photo bombing uh, window washers <laughs> out in the back, or whoever they are. They're working on the ventilation ducts out there. Is what they're working on. Oh, are they? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this, this whole facility is undergoing a remake, and. Uh, you know what? It may be, Scott, that we've had so many complaints from the people of Cincinnati that they wanted us to block off the skyline <laughs> so people don't have to see two monkeys on, on camera screwing up. Like I, I mean, at least one monkey. All right. So, so I, I love the idea of, of the flexibility of just putting that in, in your waistband any way you want, but then also you have the clip. You have all kinds of models, and you've expanded a lot. Tell us a little yep. bit about the genesis of your clip. Yes, we have. Well, like I said, when we first started, we did have just the no-clip, non-slip holster, okay? And then, like, some people really just had a hard time, you know, adapting to the concept of not having a clip. So we started to make some of the holsters, manufacture some of the holsters with the clip. We do have uh, two style of clipped holsters uh, in our soft holsters, which is our fixed clip. And then we also have the two-in-one holster that you have there that has the uh, clip, uh, swivel clip. Um, so, and the two-in-one clip is very, very popular. You know, if you feel that you don't need the clip, uh, can you can get that pop the clip off. It takes, comes right off. Or, like, say, if you want a pocket carry, take the clip off. You can just throw it in your pocket. Uh, as far as the uh, micro holster that you have in your hand on now on the SIG, I don't suggest taking the clip off that since it's such a minimal size holster. Uh, I, I would keep the clip on on the micro. Um, but... Uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, we uh, we do manufacture, I think, 17 different style holsters now. Uh, Kydex holsters. You now, we, we make a, a bra draw holster uh, uh, for women. Uh, we, our, well, our company is really unique. You can just take our basic holster when you start to shop, you know, and then you can go ahead and you pick up your, your manufacturer, your gun model, and then you go through the whole list of modifications, okay? Now, like I say, like you can choose what lining you want, whether you want the standard, the denier, if you want to go to the plush. Okay, you can choose if you want a sweat shield, you know, and, and right or left hand, draw side specific on that. Or if you want our full sweat shield, which covers the gun in its entirety, uh, uh, body side, which is nice, like say when you get some of the new guns that have a really aggressive grip, it's almost like a 50 grit sandpaper, you know, and moving all day, it's going to cause a wrath and chafing. chafing. <clears throat> So that's a nice option too. Um, like say, as far as the optics, lasers, and lights, you know, you can go ahead and choose whether you want a small laser, large laser. Uh, we have comparisons for both sizes, or you can also combine the laser sizes with RMRs, or you can just go with just a plain RMR. So you can create and build your own custom holster. Um, uh, and also, we have different color linings. You now we have camo linings for inside the holster, besides the plush. You know, the women like the pink and the purple. So I mean, it's just all sorts of different uh, uh, variations. How you, what you can do to go ahead and create your own holster to make it just the way you like it. You know, I just realized our studio audience is not hearing him do the talking. Yeah. And, and he's the only one that has any sense, right? <laughs> so sorry about that to our studio audience. We'll get you monitors next time. You yeah. can put it in your iPhone, and if you got earbuds, yeah. you can be listening. I think maybe it uh, uh, looks like, like, like you're doing that. So, so uh, you know, I'm cont I can tell right by the way Scott has uh -huh. already put his uh, SIG 365 on there. Yeah. I think... Uh, we've had, found a home for one of these holsters. When you yeah, this is, my, this is my 365 XL. This is my daily carry, and it's got the uh, Romeo Zero uh, or red dot on top, uh, SIG Romeo Zero, and, I mean, it fits in there perfectly. Mm -hmm. uh, and, of course, that, I, that's, that is uh, for any micro-framed uh, handgun, but, of course, these are, these are very small 
in themselves. So, I mean, it just, just one of those like, hmm, let me see if that fits. And then I've, I've already shoved a couple guns in these holsters and, and they, they're fitting like a glove. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it's, pre it's pretty awesome. You know, uh, we were talking before the show started, Alan. Uh, in fact, uh, we usually announce this at the beginning of the show that there are some giveaways. Now, mm -hmm. we still have some people tuned in yeah. here. Yeah, we do. Uh, for you guys that are tuned in, if you would like a holster, whatever kind of holster that you want from Remora Holster, uh, Alan, you got a good idea. T tell, uh, tell our viewers uh, what they can get. Okay, that sounds great. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah all good. Yeah, okay, yeah. perfect, perfect, yeah. Uh, well, they can go, like, say, whoever, you know, uh, wins the holster. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and, and uh, give out two holsters today. Um, you can go to our website, uh, RemoraHolsters.com. It be the Remora Holster store. Uh, go through the whole list and see all the modifications, everything you want. So it's just we're not, not giving away just a plain uh, holster. You know, you can add whatever modifications you'd like to it and uh, just have your, your perfect holster from Remora. Now, folks, go ahead and do that. Go to Remora, get all the details, pick out what you want. Then go to GunStuff.tv under the, under the uh, help menu. You see where customers, uh, and then just fill it out. Put, tell us what you want. Put it right in there, and then we're going to, out of, out of you viewers that are watching today, uh, two of you are, are going to be winners. It, it, we'll be using our, our special scientific uh, uh, computer Formulator, system. Formulator, calculator, yeah, to, to random pick, generator. Yeah, to pick out, out of you guys. But we'll have that. And, Alan, I think that's wonderful, your generosity. We appreciate you being on, on the show. We're going to tell a little bit more about folks, in, about Remora holsters in the future. I think, Scott, maybe this is something we could take out the range. Yeah. Any last words? Uh, what, what is your website? How can people find it? Okay, yeah, just go to search engines. Like saying, you can either just put in Remora Holsters, and it'll come up. You'll see, uh, it'll come up, I believe, RemoraHolsterStore.com. Uh, just click on that, and then you'll go. You'll see where you can shop, and it, it'll show uh, the different holsters, our original line, and then it also has our Gen 2s. And uh, just go ahead there, and just uh, you can find out, the, you know, after you select a holster that you like, um, you'll see where it says manufacturer, put in the manufacturer of your gun, uh, go ahead and go down to the model. And then from there on, after you click on that, you'll, you'll still see all the different uh, modifications that can be added to your holster. And, uh, well, that sounds great. And, uh, you folks could pick out what you want. This is a great opportunity. Scott, you can't, but... If you if you behave really good, uh, you might let, we might let you take that one home. Right, but let me use one. <laughs> you can, if you guys want any other holster, just let me know. And, and also, I also want to say for your viewers, like say, if anybody has a problem or you know picking out what they need or they want assistance, uh, we've got great support. Uh, Shannon Holly, that's in uh, administration, and also Ray Wilkerson, uh, they are more than happy to walk anybody through, you know, ordering a holster. They can call our number that's on the website, and you can just place it right over the phone. Uh, just trying to make everything as easy as we possibly can, give you the most support that we can, and answer any questions that you may have. We do have one, a couple questions here. Uh, uh, Shannon is on, is on the uh, live feed with us, and she's been answering a few questions for us. But uh, one of the viewers, Ed, is, is, uh, had a specific question of, once you put this in your pocket, you know, you'll gather pocket lint, things like that. Are these easily cleaned, or how do you clean them to get them okay. back to the sticky? Right. Okay, like say the whole uh, holster uh, is washable, our original with the denier material. Uh, you can just take and submerge the whole thing, just wash it like with Dawn for dishes, like some degreaser. And then what I do is like let it dry. You know, I, I take like a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube and keep the mouth open and like lay it out in the sun. Or you can take a blow dryer and, and blow into the holster and dry the interior out. But uh, yeah, even, even when carrying, like say, uh, not so much even just worrying about the lint that comes out of a pocket, it's the body oils too also from carrying IWB. And so if you have some kind of a degreasing soap like Dawn for Dishes or some of the other uh, it, it removes all the oil, brings the stickiness right back. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, any other questions before Alan goes? Uh, no, Shannon has already answered quite a few. Oh, thanks, Shannon. Feed. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank and you, Shannon. Uh, you were talking about customer service. I've talked to yeah. Shannon several times this last week getting this set up. And, and uh, a shout out to Shannon. Thank you so much. And Alan, thanks so much for being on the show. We're going to have you back, and uh, uh, we'll be hearing a lot more from Remora Holsters in the future. Thanks. Thanks so much. Well, fantastic. Well, greatly. It was a pleasure meeting you, and I really appreciate being on your show. It's a great program, and hopefully we can be back on later on in the future. Okay, you can count on it. Thanks a lot. It's, all, it's always good to have... It's always good to have somebody like that on yeah. the show. Yeah, yep. yeah they, uh, they they know what they're doing. So, uh, Scott, again, tell our viewers just real quickly, uh, just a real quick bullet rundown of what we going got going on here. Uh, this uh, Fax uh, Hellfire uh, nine millimeter, all made in house at, at Faxon. Uh, Swamp Fox Red Dot that is going to be that is going to fit perfectly on top of that fax and pistol. You got the Squared Away Customs holster, a thousand rounds of Allegiance ammo, and that is very hard to come by nowadays. And the Firebird Bio 50 targets is what you're going to be receiving in this in this prize pack. Yeah, you know what? I'm su surprised we didn't put that down. Uh, it, here's how you get to it: Gunstuff.tv/faction. And I, I think I recall. Hearing this last week myself saying mm -hmm. it, that's a twenty nine ninety five package. It's probably even more, by the way. Yeah. That I, I I saw. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what would be at normal regular ammo prices. Now yeah. it would be ten thousand dollars for <laughs> for that. I, I've, I've been seeing <laughs> ammo prices for nine millimeter a dollar a round. It's yeah. It's, now, it's, it's, it, 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 you can name your price. Yeah. And so that makes this price really worth it. So in case you haven't got it, hey, it's worth a shot. Yeah. Uh, Gunstuff.tv slash faction. And again, our our thanks to Freedom Process. Oh, I, I, I told you that someone was going to be fixing that. And, you know, it, it's tough when you've got, uh, you know, a staff that is uh, uh, kind of uh, behind the scenes and they're not really getting to it. And let's see here. Does it? Oh, yeah. yeah there we go. There you go. It's on. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, of course, we know who screwed that up. And, and Scott doesn't have to look very far to, to find who it, who it was. So, uh and re and reminder to elections coming up. Go back to season two. You'll see an interview with Thomas Massey. Uh, actually, season three. And then there's another interview earlier this year talking about the Second Amendment. Check that out on the show. You'll find that on Roku, Apple TV, and, and the Right Now Television Network. And also that's on Amazon. And, and then also you'll see this Trump knife. Go ahead and vote. Uh, this is very popular. Mm -hmm very popular knife and you can buy it right on gun stuff tv so before we leave scott uh usually we have our little bumper uh -huh. but instead we're going to tune you guys into the zombie uh, and the good thing about this this is this is what i've been hearing from the zombie people yeah. is that uh these races get so much traffic mm -hmm. uh, and so many people they're it's going to be very popular and they 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 want to visit with uh, Scott and, and your fans are showing up, and that's what's making all the difference. We get, so we talked, to, got a chance to talk to Tiger, and this is at our last event, uh, which was a Legion, uh, which was a Legion race, and we went there, we ran it, and then uh, once we finished, we went back and we got some interviews and stuff like that. But uh, this is uh, Tiger giving us a brief rundown. So he was volunteering to be a range officer at another match that we ran, and so I asked him to just, hey, can you give us a little bit about your race? And so this is Tiger doing the best he can in between shooters coming up to the firing line. So here we go. Well, let's see if we got the audio <laughs> working out. And remember, till next time, get your stuff from Gun Stuff. I'm Tiger Schultz. I'm the match director for the Run For Your Life Zombie Run and Gun. Most people just call it Zombie. Uh, this year we're moving to a new location at Lucas Oil in Cross Timbers, Missouri. Um, this year we're also doing it as a team match, center fire 10K. So grab a buddy, bring them out. Um, we have three divisions for that. We have open, we have a Jack and Jill, so husband and wife teams, boyfriend, girlfriend teams stuff like that and then we have a lone survivor where if you think you're big enough badass to come to my match and run it by yourself bring it on out uh, should be a pretty good time on Sunday we're doing a rimfire 5k uh, all 22 17s 22 mag stuff like that it's a lot of fun bring the kids bring new shooters who aren't maybe ready for the bigger guns yet um, have family nights family events at the beautiful property all of that you can check us out on Facebook on 2020 run for your life zombie 10k and on instagram at run for your life zombie rng